the safety of the non-Albanian population and the repatriation of exiled Serbs and other non-Albanians are still high priority for international peacekeepers in Kosovo. However, there seems to be no lasting solution. Eleven people were killed in a terrorist attack on a passenger bus near Podujevo in February 2001. The youngest was two years old. I don't know what to say. I take also part of the responsibility for what has happened. My soldiers are doing the best, but uh, we cannot always uh, prevent uh, terrorist actions. I hope that uh, this uh, will sign uh, a change uh, with the support of all the, the communities and the moderates. Uh, and moderates are present in both uh, sides, uh, Serbs and Albanians. And together we have to fight against extremists. <laughs> I think that what's most important is uh, to find who did this, which will be very difficult. We've had not a great success record in finding uh, the perpetrators of serious crimes because the local community still doesn't trust us, doesn't talk to us. But I think uh, for everybody to go forward, we have to find who did this. I think people are, are terrified and they want to stay in Kosovo. If they don't, then we have completely failed. On November 17, 2001, elections were held in Kosovo for the establishment of the province's parliament. The members of the new parliament are expected to elect the president of Kosovo at the beginning of 2002. The 120 members of the parliament represent 14 political parties and coalitions. The Serb community has 22 representatives, other non-Albanian communities have 13, and there are 85 Albanian MPs. The parliament lays the foundation for the achievement of the international community's pivotal goal for Kosovo. This is to secure the participation of all political constituents and ethnic groups in gradually building democratic institutions. With a new legal infrastructure, all citizens and all ethnic communities will enjoy equal rights in a new democratic and multi-ethnic Kosovo. In April 2002, the institutions of the interim government of Kosovo were formed. Despite this, Neither the international armed forces in Kosovo nor the newly established parliament of the peoples of Kosovo have succeeded in creating the conditions needed for the safe return of more than 250,000 Serbs and other non-Albanians. Life is becoming even more dangerous for those Serbs who remained in Kosovo. Opasnost postoji sa svake strane, s leve i desne strane. Ja ne vidim ovde nikakav rezultat, ne vidim nikakvu budućnost, ne vidim ovde. Nemam slobodu kretanja, ne mogu da radim, ne mogu da odem do... da uzmem osnovnu namirnicu.
Four years since the arrival of the K4 troops, only 830 Serbs have returned to Kosovo. In the same period, almost 1,000 Serbs have been killed and almost 6,000 attacks reported against Serbs and other non-Albanians living in Kosovo and Metohija. U toku cijele ove godine je bio izložen stalnim napadima, pokušajima razvaljivanja vrata uličnih i prodora ovdje u stan. Iz tih razloga ja sam prinuđen da još pre mraka stvaram velike barikade jer ova moja vrata koja potiču iz davnih vremena još iako su okovana i tako dalje nisu mogla da izdrže tolike napade tako da ih učvršćujem. Februara 14. 15. prikačili su mi etničku metlu. Kosovo and Metohija today is still, as in all the centuries of its long history, a region of destruction and suffering. But it is also a place where some of the fundamental values of our modern world are being put to the test. Pa kakva je situacija? Nikakva. Nikakva bezbednost. Nema, radimo u privatnoj kući. Niko nas ne pazi, niko nas ne čuva. Sami. Uz Božju pomoć. A kako ti je ovdje, kaži mi? Pa dobro. Šta najviše radiš? Pa idem u školu. A posle škole, ili si igraš negdje? Pa idemo do crkvi i kuće. U školu. A smeš da se šetaš ovako malo tu po kraju? Ne. Što? Pa ima banci. Nema napreta i vidite kakva je situacija. Svakog dana se nešto dešava. Svakog dana nešto novo se čuje na iba. Ili nekog ubili, ili nekog prebili. Tako. Ne očekujemo ništa bolje. Ja bih voljela ovde da bude mir. Slobodno da idemo svugde da se šetamo kao oni sad. Šta ćeš da radiš za letni raspust? Pa ići ću u Srbiju da se prošetam malo. 